Hey, I'm Wendy with Loaves and Dishes and today we're going to make some fried apples. There really isn't a better southern treat than to sit down to dinner and have a side of, of fried apples with your dinner. So come on, I'm going to show you how. The first thing that we want to do is um, get our apples peeled and quartered and get the cores out and get the seeds out. Um, for this recipe, you will want to use two Granny Smith apples and then two sweet apples. I think these are Gala's or Fuji apples that I have here. Um, and they will add that perfect amount of sweetness. The reason you want to use two different kinds of apples is um, it adds a real depth of flavor. You'll find that anytime you're cooking something where um, you can add in different varieties of a type of ingredient that will usually add a lot of flavor to your recipe. So anyway, we'll come back in a few minutes when I have these peeled. It takes a while. This is the hardest part of this whole recipe. And uh, we'll get started. See you in a minute. melt 10 teaspoons of butter which is a lot I'm sorry 10 tablespoons of butter which is a lot of butter I admit it but we're gonna cook up a lot of apples so um, we really need that much this is over uh, medium to medium low heat in a regular 10 inch cast iron pan you can use any pan it can be stainless steel or nonstick it's your choice all right, next we're gonna add our four apples. Again, that's a lot of apples. And we're gonna cook these over medium heat until they are fork tender. And that's gonna be a while. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is just keep turning them over in the pan um, until they're cooked through. So I'll see you when we get done with that. All right, these apples are ready to, um, to move on to the next step. They aren't completely cooked through but they're pretty close to it. So at this point, um, we're gonna add the sugars, the honey, cinnamon, nutmeg, and salt. All right, our apples are all done, and we're gonna let them sit here for about five minutes to absorb all the good sugar and cinnamon and nutmeg, and then they'll be ready to serve. Thanks for joining me today for making fried apples. I think you're really going to enjoy this recipe. Leave me a comment below and let me know how you liked your fried apples and what you like to add to yours. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. We're making new videos every week, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.